this is Dan Seifer from MobileBurn.com, and what I have in front of me is the HTC Resound for Verizon Wireless. The Resound is the first Beats audio integrated uh, smartphone to arrive for the US. It comes with Beats headphones that we'll take a look at in a moment. And it also is the first smartphone to come from HTC that has a 720p display. The packaging, as you can see, is pretty stark and basic. It's all black with some text on the back and an embossed logos on the sides. So let's take a look here. Opening it up, we've got the Resound itself, front and center, and next to that we've got the Beats headphones that are packaged with it. Let's power this on. While that starts up, we'll take a look at uh, what we got in the package here. We've got the Beats headphones, as you can see. They have this soft touch rubber coating on the wire itself, and it's this bright red wire. The headphone has uh, a Beats logo, as you can see there, if my camera will focus. There we go. And you've got uh, adjustable size ear cups that we'll see in a moment. And then along the wire is a remote for play, pause, fast forward, rewind, and answer and hang up your phone calls. HTC and Verizon are also including a case to put these headphones in. Inside the case is what you'll find a clip and then some various size earbuds to adjust the uh, headphones to your own fit. Underneath that we've got some documentation, basic micro USB charger and wall wart right there. The HTC Resound is by no means a small phone, in fact it's quite large when held in your hands. It weighs a solid 165 grams and it is about 13.65 millimeters thick. So even though HTC has tapered the edges, there's really no hiding how thick the phone itself is. Front and center, what you can see here is a 4.3 inch display, it's a super LCD model, and it's got 720p resolution, so it's 1280 pixels high by 720 pixels wide. This is the first HTC phone to have a, resolution, uh, or a screen of this high quality resolution. It also has a similar uh, resolution display to the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. The HTC is about 342 pixels per inch, while the iPhone is about 326. The difference between the two is pretty negligible. You really can't see it with your eyes. But it's safe to say that both of them are very, very sharp and very, very crisp. Below that 720p display are four capacitive buttons for home, menu, back, and search. They're red in this particular application, and they're pretty attractive as well. Up above the, uh, the display, you've got an earpiece and a 2 megapixel front-facing camera. If we take a look at the side of the Resound, you've got a micro USB charging port that also supports uh, HDMI output if you have an MHL adapter. Looks like we've got a mi um, microphone over here on the upper part of the left hand side. And then we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, power sleep unlock key on top. The power sleep unlock key is very well set into the phone and it's actually pretty hard to press while you're using it. And it's pretty stiff as well. Looking at the right hand side, we've got a volume rocker for up and down volume and not much else. And then at the bottom we've got a microphone and then the uh, notch to pry off the rear cover. The rear of the phone is a soft touch rubber and it's got this diagonal pattern on the back which offers to aid some grip uh, and helps with your handling the large phone. There's an 8 megapixel camera, it's got 28mm f2.2 lens, records 1080p video, and as you can see next to that is a dual LED flash. Down at the bottom we've got uh, a speaker grill and then some Beats and 4G LTE branding from Verizon. If we pop open the rear cover here, you can see inside the rear cover are quite a few different uh, connectors there which you may imagine are used for uh, antenna purposes and reception quality. Underneath that you can see this uh, translucent red finish that they've applied to the inside of the body of the uh, phone itself, very similar to the original Incredible that debuted last year. The battery itself is a smaller unit than we're used to seeing on most LTE phones these days. Uh, it is 1620 milliamp hours, so even though it's very thick, it's not as high capacity as some of the other models that we've seen. Pre-installed is a 16 gigabyte SD card, which you can access by removing the battery, and then you've got a uh, 4G LTE SIM there as well. The Resound comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage too, 
but thanks to HTC's Sense interface and the Android 2.3.4 operating system, you only have about 10.5 available when you first open the phone up out of the box. As I mentioned earlier, the HTC Resound features HTC's Sense 3.5 interface, which means that you have short screen, or shortcuts on the lock screen that can ver bring you to various options, as we've seen on other Sense 3.0 and higher phones. If you drag the lock screen ring up, it will unlock it directly to the home screen itself. The Resound is powered by a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, and it's got 1 GB of internal uh, RAM available for applications. The result of this is a very fast experience, as you can see here. Home screen's page with no lag whatsoever. The app tray opens right up and scrolls very quickly as well. One thing that I did notice was uh, the particular home screens do not go into the carousel mode as easily as older HTC phones. Uh, in order to activate that, you have to scroll all the way over the screen very quickly. This is a good thing, as I found that the other older phones, especially the uh, HTC Evo 3D, went into the carousel mode far too easily. The Resound comes with Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread. The HTC and Verizon say that an upgrade to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich will be arriving early next year. Since this is a Sense 3.5 phone, we've got some added features here. In the notification bar, you've got a quick tab to tab over to quick settings. You can turn on and off various settings quickly and easily. This is a Sense 3.5 phone, but we don't have the shortcuts that we saw on the HTC Rhyme, which was the first phone with HTC Sense 3.5. This experience on the Resound itself is very similar to the other Sense 3.0 phones that we've uh, reviewed earlier this year. The front stream widget is exactly the same as we've seen on previous HTC devices as are most of the other widgets that are preloaded such as this calendar widget this is a new one this is for HTC's watch service which allows you to download and purchase uh, video content directly on the phone so you can watch it on your mobile device then we've got a favorite contacts widget which we've seen before a search widget of course and then back to our home screen with a standard flip, flip clock widget that has been very popular on HTC devices if we take a look at the actual app tray, it's the same paginated app tray that older HTC 3, Sense 3.0 phones have had. But you also have a tab over here that you can jump to directly to Verizon's included applications, which you can see are quite a few. Unfortunately, Verizon does not let you remove these applications, so you are stuck with them, but at least they're contained in this little folder tab over on the side. HTC's Sense email client has always been attractive and easy to use, and it's really no different here on the Resound. It supports multiple uh, accounts, multiple message management, and it now has conversation or threaded view, and you got a favorites tab down at the bottom as well. It doesn't convert over into a two pane, pane mode like we see on Samsung's email client, but it can be used in landscape. Additionally, it supports uh, formatted text. So you have color, bold, italics, so it does have pinch to zoom, but it's not very smooth, as you can see. The Resound's messaging client is the same as other messaging clients we've seen on the HTC Sense phones. It features threaded conversations with this nice animated uh, conversation view, as you can see. And then also we can take a look at the HTC Sense keyboard. This is the only keyboard that's pre-installed out of the box on the phone, but it does have a standard typing mode in addition to a new tracing mode the Resounds browser has much of what we would expect from a high-end Android smartphone these days very fast as it loads our mobile site there. And it also loads our full web page pretty quickly as well. You can pinch to zoom in the browser, double tap to zoom. But like most other HTC phones, it does have some errors playing embedded flash video. We've seen this all year on most HTC phones that we've reviewed. The browser does work in landscape in addition to portrait mode.
then you can pinch all the way out in order to see your various open windows and tabs. The Resound is equipped with an 8 megapixel rear camera with 1080p video recording and dual LED flash as well as autofocus. Up front is a 2 megapixel front facing camera that can be used for both stills and video capture. The camera interface has been slightly updated by HTC. You have quick access to different effects while you're shooting, so you can apply effects before you take the picture. You have access to your gallery and then various setting modes. You can choose from different scenes, control the flash, as well as adjust certain settings like ISO and white balance. Inside in this uh, artificial uh, lighting, the white balance is not very accurate. This mode switch up here switches between front and rear camera. And the 2 megapixel camera is remarkably sharp on the 720p screen. You can tap to autofocus, and you can hear that artificial focusing sound and beep when you achieve focus. If you put the phone on silent mode, you don't hear the beep or the, the uh, machine sound, so that's purely for effect. You can zoom using the volume rockers, where you also have the zoom bar at the bottom of the screen. If we open up the gallery, we can see the pictures that we just took. You can pinch to zoom for further detail. And you can also open the uh, image in an editor to edit the image. If we switch over to the video mode, we've got slight controls for image quality. So you can set 1080p video there. You can control the video light. And then there's some also minor settings that you can adjust as well. The video features autofocus. And you can also refocus while you're recording by tapping the screen wherever you'd like and you can use the zoom levers while you're recording as well. You can instant review. You can also refocus while you're recording by tapping the screen wherever you'd like. And you can use the zoom lever. So that is our quick review of the HTC Resound for Verizon Wireless. The HTC Resound is the first Beats audio integrated smartphone to come to the US. It's also the first HTC phone to feature a 720p screen. So it's got 720 pixels across by 1280 pixels high. It's a very thick and large phone at 13.65 millimeters and 165 grams. On the back of the phone is an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus flash and dual, uh, dual LED flash and 1080p video recording. And up front is a sharp 2 megapixel camera that can be used to take pictures and record video. The Resound itself is powered by a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm processor with 1 gigabyte of RAM. There's 16 gigabytes of internal storage pre-installed, and then it comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card as well. Finally, it supports each, uh, Verizon's 4G LTE network, as well as its standard 3G CDMA network. The HTC Resound will be on sale November 14th for $299.99 with a new two-year agreement. This is Dan Seifert from MobileBurn.com.